We're going to begin by adding a true or false question to our quiz. To start, click the plus symbol, select true or false, where it says question title. What we recommend here is putting your priority standard here as a reference and maybe something about the content. This information here is only seen by the instructor, so the kids won't see it, but it'll give you a good reference when you go back to um, look maybe at common assessments or your parent-teacher question. So here's something you can pull up and reference in relation to the question. Question stem would be the question you want to ask. So we asked our basic question, and we do have some options here. Uh, aligned to outcomes, we will go over later. And item banking, that is where you can build a bank of questions that you can pull from later. Again, we'll go over this later on as well. So here's our question that we're going to ask. I've indicated which one is the correct answer. There are options. Limited right now, but it's just about a calculator. We can allow them to outcomes, but we have not added any outcomes yet. That will come in a, in a future video. The same thing with item banking. Right now, we don't have a bank of questions to pull from, but we could always add this question to our bank, which we could use later on. When we're finished, we click Done, and we're ready to go. To check it, we recommend going back to Home, Student View. Now that we're in the Student View, we want to go to Assignments, find the quiz that we were just adding questions to. We can begin the quiz, and we know the answer is true. Click Submit. Are we sure we want to do it? Yep. Now it's been auto-graded, we can see the responses. For a teacher, it's also been added into the gradebook for you. Now I want to go ahead and click Reset Student, so then later on I can go through the same quiz as I add more questions.